Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new A Total War Saga Troid. Uh, right now the game is currently free on Epic Games for 24 hours, so <laughs> make sure that you're reading the game. So I will show you how to boost your FPS in this game. Uh, honestly, this game is well made, it's well optimized, and also you have a lot of options inside of the game that you can change, so that's pretty good. So normally a lot of people will run this game easily. Uh, on mid-range and even entry-level computer. So first of all, let's start with the game mode. Write game mode in your search here. Make sure that your game mode is at off, really important. It's causing like stuttering and using a bit of FPS with this mode. Make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off. And also all those Discord overlay, Nvidia overlay, make sure that all the overlay are at off. Uh, if you have like issue with stuttering, it's probably because of that. Uh, capture also. Background recording at off, recorded audio at off, really important. If you did the latest update of Windows, write GPU in your search bar. Make sure that you activate the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, really important. Uh, you need to reset your computer if you did not do that. Uh, one last thing, make sure that, that you update your uh, NVIDIA driver or AMD, even Intel, if you have like an integrated GPU. Um, they always like release a uh, special driver for big games like that. So make sure that you have the latest one. It will help you a lot. Normally, you can get like 6 to 8% boost in your FPS when you have the latest driver, when the game uh, has like some, some special whatever treatment by NVIDIA, AMD or Intel. One more thing, go where you installed the game. For me, it's in the F drive, Total War Saga Troid. You need to find the uh, the execute file, so the biggest file, as you can see, the name is Troy. Right click on it, properties, uh, go to compatibility, make sure that you disable full screen optimization. And in change IDPI setting, make sure that you say override IDPI scaling, press OK and press OK. Normally, I always do that for DirectX 11 games, DirectX 9 game. Uh, you don't need to do that when it's DirectX 12, so that's why I'm doing it for Troid. So now, let's go inside of the game. So inside of the game, uh, first thing, if you have like a really bad CPU, uh, like a two-core CPU, something like that, or on a laptop or something like that, start with audio, and the audio quality, it's a bit weird to say, but it changed a lot of like it's a big difference for FPS. I did a test on my laptop, I versus low. I was gaining like 10 per 10% in my FPS, so it's pretty huge. So go with low if you have like a very old computer. Uh, you will not gain like 10% if you have like something I don't know, like a four core, eight thread, but like a low end tier. But it's more like if you have a really old computer, it can help you a lot for this. Even for the audio memory, you can get, go with medium or small, something like that, and it will help you a lot. So let's go with the graphic. So first of all, make sure that you have your uh, good resolution. They didn't match your monitor. Normally, if you play in 1080p, you should see 1080p. So just make sure that it match. After that, click Advance. So this is pretty much where you will see all your graphic settings. So this is where you will change your stuff. So first of all, anti-aliasing. This one is a bit of it, it's a bit of important because it's like three percent for each bracket. But the thing is, the game looks like shit if you go at off. So go with FXAA if you have like a like an old computer, entry level laptop or something like that. And if you have like a normal mid range computer, go 2x or 4x. Uh, do the difference depending on your objective if you have if you want like a 144 fps because you have a high refresh monitor or if you just want your 60. normally with a mid-range computer uh and you just need 60 fps you should be fine with 4x uh texture filtering this is like if you have like a three years old card like three years old two years old or uh, a brand new one from rtx Go with 8x or 16x. If you have like something like I don't know a GTX a 600 series, you can go 4x or 2x. And Trillionaire, it's more like you have an integrated video card, like very old stuff. So this is pretty much how you can do it. Texture quality. This one is depending on your VRAM, uh, depending on your card here. That's pretty cool because you will see your VRAM over there. So if you have more than 4 gig, go with Ultra, uh, 3 gig high, 2 gig medium, and less than 2 gig, go with low. 
Shadow Detail, this one is huge. Extreme versus Off, you can gain like 20% in your FPS. So it's <laughs> it's amazing. Shadow, it's taking a lot of resources in this game. So me, I'm removing it and I'm getting a lot of FPS. So really important over there. Water Detail, also it will help you a lot. It's like 4% for each bracket. So I'm putting this one at medium. But again, where depending on where you are right now in your FPS, uh, just like move it what you need. Fuck Shadow. Uh, huge difference also, like 8% for each bracket, so go with low for this one. Uh, and the inclusion off, it's pretty much the, um, it will give you a nice boost like Shadow. It's like 3% for each bracket, so another huge thing. God Rays, remove that. It's causing a lot of stuttering and it's taking a lot of resources. So that's why I'm putting at off. Depth of Feel, uh, you don't want to use that, but it's not giving you more FPS, honestly. It's more like uh, you are you don't have some blurry stuff when you want to focus on something, so that's why I'm using off over there. Uh, all those detail, honestly, those detail, it's like 2% for each bracket, and even sometimes it's 1, so depending, like, I, I put medium over there to show, like, people with entry-level uh, computer, but honestly, I... It's not a huge deal. Like Terran building, the Terran is a bit different. Medium building uh, detail, you can go with I tree medium uh, grass detail off. This one two percent for each bracket. So again, you can gain a nice chunk of FPS with the grass detail. VFX detail, I'm putting medium one percent for each bracket. But it, VFX detail, it's more like when you're fighting. Sometimes I feel like uh, if you're getting some drop on my laptop, I was getting drop. And I put this, this one at medium and it helps a lot. So that's pretty much it. Interactive uh, interactive water, sorry, off. Uh, Porthole call to, I'm just keeping it at 3D. Unit size, it's, it's, it's a huge thing for your FPS, honestly. Like extreme, you will see a lot of unique move, moving and stuff. For sure, you, <laughs> if you have like a low-end computer, it will take a lot of resources and you will be lagging. So if you have like a laptop, uh, an old CPU and stuff like that. Go with smaller or medium. Mid range, you can try large. And if you have like a brand new computer, go with ultra or extreme. Uh, I dead bodies. Same thing. If you want to save uh, resources, put one second over there. So after the 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 the, the, the person will die, uh, it will just disappear from uh, the map. It will help you a lot for, with your FPS also. So put one second over there. And make sure that you uncheck all the options over there, like glow, cloud shadows, interactive graphs. So this, those are stuff that you can remove. So, so honestly, with all those options, you should run the game fine. Like, it's more like, do you get your 60? Do you want 60? Do you need 144, 240 because of your monitor? So this is pretty much, it's tough to say, like, this is pretty much the good setting. So just do some tests. Uh, I'm telling you right now, if you're you're near your 60 and you don't want to touch uh, touch too much of your stuff, just go with shadow detail, ambient inclusion, and fog quality. Those three will give you like 20% uh, together, so uh, and you should be fine. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.